So far we have finished designing our navigation bar and we have made it responsive on all screen sizes. Now normally I would want to continue designing the other components on this page but for now I want us to switch to the admin section and design the pages on the admin section and then only after we are done with the admin section we can then move back to the public section and design the rest of the pages and components there. So we are going to create a new folder in the root folder of our application called admin. And this folder is going to hold the files that represent the various pages in the admin section, beginning with the dashboard page. So inside this admin file, this admin folder, we are going to create a new file called dashboard.html. And as we have seen on the finished project, it has a nav bar that looks very much like what we created earlier in the index.html file. So we are going to copy all the code inside our index.html and then we we'll paste it inside the dashboard.html which we just created. So we will scroll to the top and one thing I will do is I'm going to rename this style file from style.css to admin underscore style.css since the styles we'll have inside here are going to be mostly admin styles. I'll also move the, this admin style file from the root folder into the admin folder we just created and we'll make sure we change the path in our HTML files to point to that new file. So in our index or HTML, this will change to admin slash admin style.css and inside the dashboard.html file it's not going to be style.css any longer but admin style.css that is admin underscore style.css we are not pointing to the admin folder before specifying that because both the dashboard.html and the admin underscore style.css are in the same folder so adding the name only here will suffice. Now we are going to uh, continue editing the dashboard at the HTML file. Uh, the title is going to be dashboard and then the header is going to be a very simple version of the header. It is not going to have the search item so we'll remove that. It's not going to have any of the other uh, navigation items so I'm going to remove all of them and I will leave only the locked in users username item. So I will uncomment this. And now if we refresh or rather if we visit this file on our browser, you will see that it looks just like what we have on the finished project. We no longer need this link to the dashboard since we are already on the dashboard. So I'm going to take that out. And then for the scripts, we are going to leave the scripts to our icons since we are going to be needing icons in the admin section too. And then for the script that toggles the search input, we don't need it since we don't have the search input on the admin navbar. We'll leave the script for the responsiveness as it is. Uh, uh, later on down the line, we will probably do some modifications, but this will do for now. Okay, let's refresh again and this looks good. Now the next step is to define the HTML for the sidebar as well as the page content. So let us uh, go again to our dashboard.html file and then immediately after the HTML for the header, we are going to create a div and give it a class of page wrapper. And this is going to wrap all the elements in the admin page. Now these include mainly the just the sidebar and the page content. So we'll create a div with class sidebar and another with class page content. Now the page content div for now is going to have a level one header and we'll give it a title of admin dashboard. We'll make sure we give a CSS class called center to this element so that we the text should appear centralized. 
we have not yet defined this class we are going to do that right now so let's go to our admin style.css now center is a very common class we are going to use it repeatedly in other parts of the application so i'm going to define the style under the default section in our css file and it is simply going to be text align center and that's all okay so that's it for now for the uh, html in our page content now let us proceed to the admin uh, sidebar it's also going to be fairly straightforward we're going to have an unordered list and we'll give it a class of list menu it is obviously going to have list items and each of them will have a link within it the first is going to point to the dashboard page okay for visibility's sake i'm going to open this up uh, on many lines and then we'll we'll duplicate this a number of times and modify the names accordingly so after dashboard you have post topics users roles permissions posts users roles permissions collections okay so these are just the lists and the link items we have not yet added the um the icons against each of these items and we'll do that in the next video